Hi, I am Carl Battams. I am a computational scientist and astrophysicist from the Naval Research Lab. Everything that you're seeing in this movie is based on actual data. So actually every single dot that you see in this movie is a real comet that has been discovered or observed by SOHO. SOHO is the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. So it's a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency and SOHO's mission was to study and understand the sun and the region of space surrounding the sun and all of the, the cool, awesome, explosive stuff that the sun does. There was never any intention for SOHO to be a comet discoverer. The reason that SOHO has been so successful at finding these comets is because it's got this, this wonderful instrument on the spacecraft that offers us a view of the inner solar system that we just cannot get from any telescope on Earth. The different colors in this movie represent different families or populations of comets that SOHO is observing. So the, the red comets, these are Kreutz sun grazers. The green comets are what we call Maya group comets. The only exception is the yellow ones that you see. These are what we call non-group comets. These do not belong to any family. You see as these objects are flying in towards the sun, they're not really going in a straight line, it's they're following a curve. And that curve is because of the sun's gravity. And the closer a comet gets to the sun, the faster it goes. And then they slow down again as they move away from the sun. One of the really awesome facts that I love about the, the sun grazers in particular the Kreutz comets that you're seeing in red, they are the fastest objects in our solar system that, that aren't particles. They get so close to the sun that they're traveling over 600 kilometers per second. That's 0.2% of the speed of light, which is just, it is an inconceivable velocity for pretty much anything that's not a particle but for a big house-sized chunk of rock and ice, it's just truly insane that these objects are going that fast. Unfortunately, they're getting completely fried in the process, but it's really awesome that they're doing that. The comets in this movie that are flying around the sun and disappearing out of the movie again, they have survived past the sun. They're not getting completely vaporized by the, the intense solar radiation. Any comet that you see in this movie that does not have a label it means it was discovered by SOHO. I really love that this mission that was designed to do something completely different just by luck and by chance has completely rewritten the history books with more than well over half of all the comets that we have on official record now carry SOHO's name and it was never even intended to do that. I just love that fact.